Not too much, no. Was it kind of strange? I mean, you left a few months ago, and like it seems like more than half of the defense has yeah. changed. Yeah, there's there's a few new faces on the back end there. It's, I think that happens with any team though. Over, I, I mean, I look back, and even back when I was with Calgary, that was five seasons ago, I think. And I think there's only two guys left on that team that I played with there. So it's the turnaround on teams can be pretty drastic, and it doesn't matter what team it is. So. Uh, but yeah, it is, it's always funny to see how much it can change from year to year. What's it been like for you to, you always wanted that stability, you wanted that to go to a place and know that you have your role and your contract and everything. What's that, what's that sort of safety been like for you? It, it's nice. It's one less thing to think about and, you know, it just, you always focus on your game no matter what. But it, in the back of your mind, it is, it is a nice thing to have. and. Uh, it took a long time to get there, and um, that was a big part of my decision in the offseason is I wanted to go to a place where I was going to get opportunity to play. And when I got traded here, I, I got opportunity and I got given a, a pretty clear role of what they expected of me. And, and uh, it's, been the, it's been the same ever since I got here, and uh, it's, it's been good. There was a lot of uh, speculation on the possibility to come back in Montreal. Was, was it the real option for you at the yeah, time? Yeah, it was. We spoke back and forth a few times, and uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was definitely one of the options, one of the last few options. And, uh, um, you know, I had a great time in Montreal all over my seasons there, and we had a lot of fun, and it's a great, great team, and I think they're heading in the right direction, and uh, I think it's going to happen sooner than some people might think that uh, they're doing so well, and so it was definitely a real option. Why do you think that? I just think uh, I think the young core they got over there. They're they're guys who are they're not waiting to develop anymore. They're they're ready to play and compete and show that they're top players as they they already have started to. And and I think that just establishes that feeling of you know why not why not win now you know. Is that the new NHL where they're breaking in so many young players now and they're living with their mistakes. They yeah. figure they've got they're smart enough on the ice to live with their mistakes. Yeah, I think so and. Uh, I think these guys are coming in so good now and, and there's an, enough of a span of young guys on every team where it's it's not like the age shows that much, you know, the young guys come and they're flying around, they're skilled, they're scoring big goals and impacting every game and uh, that's that's kind of the way it's going and every team needs that. For rookie meals, you need lots of rookies on the team so you don't have one, one rookie doesn't have to pay them all. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, we have a few rookies this year, but yeah, I've been on teams where you have five or so, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, it's not ratioed out if you only got one or if you got five. So, <laughs> Brett, as you answer to Arpen about the fact that you find your place stability here, is it more more special to find that stability at home for you? Yeah, especially. Yeah, I think you know my parents watch every game and just it's nice seeing for them to watch me and see me out there in lots of situations playing lots. It's it's more exciting for them even just watching the games and and just you know last night even I go back to my hometown and there's a minor hockey league tournament starting this weekend so I just went and saw a bunch of the kids and just how excited they are to be able to go back to the rink I grew up playing in and see the excitement of those kids who are in the exact same spot I was in not too long ago it's uh, like just it's stuff like that it's really special it's it's I'm very happy to be playing at home you've been away oh yeah yeah those those are yeah I was in that rink five out of seven days a week as a kid you know what I mean so it, uh, no no the staff's changed a bit yeah but um yeah, you go back, but the hallways feel a little smaller. It used to feel like such a big rink when I was a kid, but now uh, it feels smaller. But it's it's nice just being able to do stuff like that. I'm very lucky. What's that? Uh, the Glen Hall Arena. It's I was going to say they haven't taken off Glen Hall's name. It was when I was a kid. It was a Centennial Arena. Now they called the the Glen so Hall. No. No. 